the process differs according to what I'm working on completely. I have books that I write to pay the bills. And those mostly include the educational ones, the, um, for the textbook ones. And those, that's like going to work. Okay, I get up. Okay, I'm going to write that first chapter today. Okay, no, I'll write one more subhead and then I'll get up. Okay, if I do two subheads, and then I can go do this. So, you know, a little, it's, it's, it, I make myself and make myself do it. And when I'm in the research, I often, once I'm in and writing it, then it's puzzly and it's interesting and making the sentence is good. But that's a very different process from writing fiction or poetry. When I'm writing fiction, my own fiction, I get up at 3.30 or 4 in the morning and I come downstairs, make coffee, and then I write, and I'm, I'm just in. And I'll get up and stretch, or I'll do some yoga for, to sort out my body for a few minutes, but then, and then at noon or one o'clock, after I've worked for five or six or seven hours, and then I get up and do exercise or errands or something, and then in the afternoon edit what I've written. But I'm so engaged with it. It's, and my, my friend, people who know me, and if they happen to be around, know not to bother me or talk to me. If, I might go to the movies or might go have supper, but in a kind of way that I'm not really, they don't expect me to be really present in a complete way. So I'm, I just want to, I'm just happy in that world and, and necessarily in it. And I'm not that way with writing not of uh, nonfiction. Um, I do have, I'll just grab this. Um, I do, I keep a journal. Um, and um, so when I'm writing other, um, when I'm working on research projects, I'm, I'll make notes or, or sketch or paste, paste in, um, pieces of information that I, w I want to keep in the same, you know, all in one place. So I will use, use this as a, as a resource or dialogue if, I, if something comes to me. When I was traveling, I wanted to um, do both keep my journal and then keep a, a, a sketch a day. So I kept, a, kept two things going. I would draw, so every day I would draw something, you know, Whatever, whatever it was, and I would. Hold one of those drawings oh. Up the frame. Okay. So there's um, the first day I landed the, when I was a writer. The second time I was writer in residence in Tasmania and Australia. So I, I did a little sketch from the window, um, what it, what it looked like, um, and I I was pretty faithful for about a week. And then I, I didn't like, um, I didn't like carrying the sketchbook and my pencils around all the time. So I would just, and then I just started pasting things into that one. But I, I decided, well, just I, illust I draw stuff in here too. So, but that pro that's part of the process, because I realize when I'm when I'm drawing something, and, and I make no claims about my drawing. I just like to do it. And it, it's, it was, it's very hard because my mother could had that ability just to, in a few lines, make something come alive, a cat or a, she could do architectural drawing. She was um, well-trained both as a drafts person and are doing renderings of architectural blueprints, but also she could just draw. She just knew how to do that. And I can't, I can't get perspective, but there's something that happens when I'm drawing that stills me and it's very similar to writing. And while I'm doing that, I can, I can sense that another aspect of the writing is changing. Often I'll have some, something, going on about a story or a poem. So that's part of somehow writing by hand or doing sketching 
um, is, is part of the, the process. Uh, the picture book, because it's um, obviously the, the length, I would usually um, write the first, write the draft all at once, that it would be, um, the, f the first draft would, would come out quite quickly, whereas, and then lots of revision or completely reshaping, but uh, different from that long process of, of living inside a novel.